Hey there everyone, this is China Connor, and you're watching one of my oldest Wi-Fi battle videos. I have a new overlay here, hope y'all like it. If you don't like it, please let me know, and I'll get back to the original one that I had going on. But today's match is a OU match I had with my friend Wave Bomber. What a fun match, he's a really good opponent in the OU tier. Whenever I battle him, he kinda sweeps my entire team with a defensive Pokemon, but this match right here was a really fun one, so I hope you'll enjoy it. He starts off with a Mega Check going Mega, and I know he's gonna probably go for a Flamethrower or an Overheat. But I wanted to, you know, go for Skull Thoughts. Here, I actually live with 4 HP, but it doesn't matter because I have Sturdy intact. So we're able to get my Stealth Ox there, and now I kind of lose my Steelix here. So if if his Empoleon is carrying Defog, which it is carrying Defog, then I guess I would put my Steelix in vain, and I wouldn't be good. Anyway, so I go into my Scarf Adamant uh, Greninja here, and I go straight for the U-turn. If he was going to go for a Volt Switch, I would have to go for the U-turn first and then go into Rokom Mo form to pretty much dodge it, really. And this works out great as he does full switch. And I wasn't really sure where he was going to switch into, but I could Will Wisp and burn something. He does bring in his own Greninja, um, which I could, I could burn him. But he has Ice Beam. I need to switch out and take that hit. But after the Perkin kicks in, this attack right here does a crap load and I resist that blow. So, I mean, I, I could be saying that Greninja's special defense is pretty crappy, but either that or his own Greninja is pretty strong. Anyway, so I, I went for the Dark Pulse just to be neutral here because he could go for his own Dark Pulse or he could switch into Empoleon which Empoleon is a Steel type but Steel is going to be uh, neutral against Dark or Dark is neutral against Steel now in 6th generation. He does have self loss which kind of made me think okay he probably has Defog as well, so if he wants to go for that, his own self loss will be gone. Here I switch out and go back into Rokom Mo form, and I am now going for Will O Wisp. Um, the reason I didn't do it earlier is because Greninja was in the field. I didn't want that to happen. So we catch Manatric there. I That doesn't matter too much really because Manatric is a special attacker. In other words, I kind of gave it a um, plus one attack boost. Special attack boost, excuse me. But I managed to um, make him predict me to switch out, so I kind of stayed in. I went for the, I believe, Leaf Storm right here. Because he could have killed me with a flamethrower, but I kind of predicted him to predict me to switch out and go for full switch, and that worked out pretty well. I do a great amount of damage to the Landris T, and I'm going to stay in once again, because he, he probably doesn't have anything except for you, turn I want him to go for it, and here we go again. Here comes the Manectric. I'm not too bothered by Manectric now, because it's burned, and I gave him uh, some entry hazards to deal with. I went for Will Wisp, but I don't know why I did that really. It's pretty obvious that he would switch back into Manectric again. I should have gone for a um, another Leaf Swarm, but it doesn't work out this time. I'm just going to lose my Rotom in exchange for his Manectric. So we have a double gown here. I am happy about that. Those are the best types of gowns. But on the double gown here, I expected him to probably go into uh, Empoleon or Landorus T again. So I went to Elasticity, Toku Kiss, I go for Flamethrower here, and it doesn't do enough. This is a bulky Empoleon here, obviously. Now he goes for Defog, and I'm thinking, oh, if he has 
defog, then he's going to go for a skull fox again. And since I don't have my stealus anymore, how am I going to get my own skull fox? Well, that was a good play on him, on his part there. Um, so he has no extra hazards anymore, and I have to deal with his own skull fox there. Unfortunately. But, um, I kind of realized that this is game over just because he goes for roar there and I kind of expected that but here I have Sting and this is my one of a chance to get back into this match really and it's going mega with my mega um, Beedrill but he could always go into his town flame afterwards so as soon as I saw that uh, town flame coming in after I go for drill run Drill run, if I can say it right, then this match is going to be over. But um, I wanted to give Sting a shot here, and um, he does have a Landris key as a, another um, a Pokemon that could take out Sting, which that's fine, I guess. Um, but now I need to deal with Langer's key and his town flame. So I have my Scarf uh, Greninja. Let's go for Waterfall. But after that, I know that town flame is going to come in and wreck my team a lot. So this match is pretty much over at this point. Um, but I do pretty well in this match just because um, all the other matches that I have against Roy I guess Ray Farmer were kind of crappy, but this was the best match I've had um, outside of the strike and conference battles I had in August. But here we go, the Town Flame Sweep in the end is coming up here. He goes for Brave Bird and he takes me out. And one fell sweep uh, here without my um, Greninja. But here comes Alakazam, and Alakazam, if I had Focus Sash, this is a choice best Alakazam, but if I had a Focus Sash, I would lose that hit and I was kicking out Calm Flame. This is why you have to give your Pokemon the appropriate item and battles. So, I lose Alakazam. He didn't get a good look in this battle here. He just got KO'd right off the bat. And last but not least, we have Alakazam, or um, Alessis, excuse me. Alakazam is already good. Alexis the Togekiss is here who's going to um, get conked, which I was a little bit surprised to see that. I don't see conk on Calum Flame before, but that's a, something that's very unique there. And he's going to finish me off with a Brave Bird attack. So that was a good battle there. I hope you all enjoy this. Um, if you can enjoy this video, be sure to let me know why and I'll fix it for the next upload. I do live a Brave Bird somehow. I don't know how I did that, but I guess Togekiss is pretty bulky and everything. But it doesn't matter because he's going to kill me again and I lose the battle. So I hope you all enjoy this. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see some more Wi-Fi battles. Let me know what you all think about the overlay. And I'll see you guys all on Wednesday with another Narrate battle.